captain. He came over the speakers to inform everybody that one of the guests on board has COVID. Wet. What am I? The pool lady. Like We're having a pepperoni pizza for starters. This cruise. Doctor Clarkson, please. For frig's sakes. <laughs> What did you just say? I said I'm eating healthy today. And I said, mm -hmm. and I said I'm having apple pancakes. I laughed at you because I think you're a joke yeah. saying that. I'm looking at you through the window, come on. Right, we're off for breakfast up to Ocean View Cafe. Oh, I am. Gone for a bit of fruit this morning and yogurt, some Mitchell. pineapples, some uh, orange and some melon. Nick's gone for a little bit of fruit, but added some, um, what Just is it? Two pieces of bread? Yeah, cinnamon bread. Plain, no it's not, it's plain French toast. And to the left of us is the dock. Greg. And Greg, and um... Looks quite built up, yeah. not like I expected. So we're probably going to get off and explore a little bit today. Right, so usually when you're on a cruise ship, you have uh, such luxury excursion destinations as the Bahamas. Don't knock it or Italy, Venice, etc. We, on the other hand, are going to Tesco Extra. We're not, we're going to next, for pants. Well, so I've run out, I've miscalculated and I've run out of pants. Well, I've got one day's left. Nick's not brought enough pants and he's not brought enough shirts either, he thinks, or enough shoes to look decent on an evening. Or t-shirts, <laughs> I've definitely miscalculated this. So we're off clothes shopping in, where are we again? Uh, Greenwich. Greenwich. Uh, there's a Tesco Extra over there, there's an X that way, there's a new look over there. So it's an exciting excursion day. And just before we got off the ship, the captain or the cruise director, I don't know which one it was, captain came was. over the speakers to inform everybody that one of the guests on board has COVID. Um, they've it's been happen, isn't it? Yeah, isolated and close contacts have been tested and nobody else has come up as positive. So... With a ship with 1,300 people, statistically, there's gonna be more than one that's caught yeah. it. So, but what can you do? We I just think obviously this time last year something like that would be unthinkable for a cruise to carry on. But thanks to last year, it'd be unthinkable to come to Glasgow yeah. on a cruise. Thankfully, we're now at a position where you know vaccinations. Everybody on board is double vaxxed, um, so hopefully everything's fine and the person is going to be fine. Right, let's go get shopping to Tesco. And our next stop on our excursion day is the lovely Primark. Fancy a kill, Nick. I think you'd look alright on board with one of those. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right, we've had a little mooch around the main uh, street here. And, um. I think now we've got the ship. Yeah, that's kind of. It. I'm sure there's other things to see. than I actually anticipated. Yeah. I was expecting it to be like Inverness, where there was literally a couple of takeaways and that was it. But this has got quite a big chain shop, it's got a couple of shopping centres, um, a lot of like independents and a lot of takeaways, but it's a lot bigger than I imagined it yeah. would be. And just right next to the main street is the port. There's the ship. And I can finally remember what it's called now. Greenock. Right, back on the ship. We're going out to deck three for the passport bar to have a coffee on there. We've got a really nice coffee machine. Okay, so that plan didn't go very well. Uh, this is the passport bar. It's actually closed at the minute. Why don't we get takeaways from Café on and come back down? Uh, well, maybe we so could do. Run in the mill, then. Um, I did have a coffee here yesterday though, and it was really nice. And I just sat there while Nick was doing something. Um, this is where guest relations are, and the piano. So, back up to uh, Café on Bacchio. Right, so our um, healthy day is going uh, along swimmingly with a skinny flat white. I've got skinny. Nick's got hot chocolate and two oatmeal and raisin cookies, which have now like the yeah. That they've discontinued in the, they're discontinued. If you go to Café on Bacchio get the oatmeal and raisin cookies they are so nice um, so we've come back down here because it was full up in cafe al bacchio so if you ever go to uh, the coffee shop and find it's full just get a takeaway come down to passport uh, bar because there's nobody here oh. a rare sight nick is using an imac not a good choice you like it no i do not the mouse is weird should we get one for lodge no, thank you. This is the view from the balcony today. Looks quite bright over there, there's some blue sky coming. Uh, we're just gonna head up to the solarium, have a bit of a chill, and then maybe do some activities. 
got ourselves plonked here today in one of these little igloo wigwammy things. My, my towel's wet. It's not wet. What am I? The like pool lady. What am I? And uh, that's um, a free hot tub if you want to go in there. Nobody in it. Nobody in that one either. I'm going to just sit down, read a book, have a bit of a chill. I'm going to go in that hot tub as soon as we've got something to lunch. Just headed around to the spa cafe, which is where you get the um, smoothers and fresh fruit juice. So I'm just going to get a couple of snacks, one of these noodles, and a fresh fruit salad. Right, I've tried to go slightly healthy with some noodles and this fruit. Nick's just making his way up to the mass grill bar. So I'm guessing he's going to come back with a hot dog and something not very healthy. Have you got something to say about this? No, you're on a holiday, you can have whatever you like. That's exactly right. So we're now on the top deck. The, um, the sun is like literally behind us, so we've moved from downstairs because our little igloo, which was under there, had no sun and Lee saying it was getting cold. So we've moved up here <laughs> no, it's red and now it's absolutely scorching. You would not believe that we're actually in a Glasgow port. The sun, I mean the sky, there's absolutely no clouds at all in the sky. You would not even, you would think that we were actually in the Bahamas, wouldn't you? Nassau. If you didn't even look behind you. There's a band playing down there, everybody's in kind of good spirits. It's such a fun, cruisy feeling, isn't it? And I'm yeah. dying for a wee, so I'm gonna get, go and have one and get some sun cream because we haven't got any on. We never expected the sun to be out no. today. The sky is like what we have right now. Southeasterly light winds up to 10 uh, miles per hour and temperatures of 16 degrees. Right, we're pushing back and we're setting off. The captain came over the speakers you saw there and he said it's been the nicest day weather-wise uh, this season. It has been absolutely beautiful. Um, we've been laid here relaxing, having a really nice time and so has a lot of other people. There's so many people out today. We may only be in Scotland, but the views for this sail off are brilliant. Cannot fault the weather today at all. So we've had some real chill time today. We've not vlogged uh, loads because we wanted to just experience the ship and just chill. Do I not think what? I don't think that, that looks like Lake Como in Italy. It could do. It looks, when we saw it, but look at that. If you like stood at the, uh, the very bottom of Lake Como and you look across, there's like villas on the lake. You, you, see, you wouldn't believe we're in Scotland at all. I mean, obviously, oh, it's not Scotland, it? it's the, the weather has made it, but look at those hills. Right, get ready, you, because we're going out soon. Are you ready, dear husband? I am. So for the last week, apologies for the lighting, it's here. It is actually as yellow as it looks. For the last week, I've been complaining how poor the shower pressure is. Well, you've not complained to me. You've well, complained to me today. Well, I've been thinking about it all week. Lee then tells me on day six that this shower tap here actually turns beyond, like if you just turn it on, it's like, that's it, it's on. And it's really dribbly, but apparently if you squeeze the button, it goes even faster. So I've just had a power shower for the first time in a week. So remember to squeeze the button. Yeah, so. Uh, fascinating, fascinating. Um, people want to see, people want to know tips. Right, I've just got my prime arnies on. My new shoes, how much were they? 16 pound? Yeah, I quite like them actually. So I've actually got another pair and all some white ones that are like, not trainers, but slip on sort of white shoes. Let's go. So we're off to the lawn club now, which is basically on the top deck. It's kind of half in the open and half undercover. They have heaters and I believe they have blankets as well. Should and I've already decided, no, we don't need one. And I've already decided what I'm having, have you? No, I haven't looked at menu yet. <laughs> Right, this is the Lawn Club Grill. We are a little bit early, but hopefully we can get in. Right, we've got a table and we're waiting for starters. So uh, we are in the Lawn Club Grill. So I guess we get to watch them grill our meats and things. And Nick's gone for salmon. I've gone for a tandoori chicken kebab. So we're on deck 15, right at the top of the ship. Yep. There's two halves of deck 15. There's, there's the aft half and then there's just the forward half. Yeah, and just to our left, or Nick's right, we have people just sat out on the lawn, chilling, enjoying the sun. That is going to be us actually. Yeah, we think we really want to try one of those chairs now that this guy's on here. So it's just an hour um, flatbread in the oven at the back. We've gone for pepperoni. And I'm guessing they're going to put it on some kind of plate on this thing in the middle. Yeah, I think what they'll do is it spreads across the ice, ship your wine. And um, it's like a sharing stand. Yeah, sharing stand. Use the tongs to pick it off and 
here it is. It's more like a pizza, basically. It's mm. a pepperoni pizza, isn't it? It's amazing. We're having a pepperoni pizza for starters. The tomato puree is really, really sweet, and the pepperoni is really, really garlic. It's really nice. Right, so the second course here is salad from the buffet. Ooh. Buffet. Ooh. So, uh, what do you want? What do you want? Can I have um, a little bit of cheese? Um, no. Lettuce? No lettuce. Not yet. Uh, a little bit of cheese. Is that, is that sausage? Yes. Yeah. Right, I picked my salad. Lee's just ordering his. It's quite a range, quite a selection. I thought the uh, the bamboo was ginger, but um, it's a good job I didn't get that because um, it would have been a bit chewy. Not sure I like bamboo, to be honest. I've got my favourite salad dressing, ranch. Um, you can tell it's definitely American ship because ranch dressing in the, in the UK isn't doesn't tend to be that popular. Bit of beetroot, bit of um, peppers, um, some cheese under there, and strangely enough, some sliced sausage as well, and some some olives. So I'm really going to enjoy this. Right, while our mains are cooking it, I'm just going to have a look at the. Um, it's going to come out and film this. It's just something that you just can't miss. So if you just check out over here, some kind of town over there. It's really hard to see actually. Looks like two big like church towers. And then we have this island that's kind of sticking out that we're almost hitting. And then there's another one on the other side. It's very similar. It's so calm again tonight. Look at the sun hitting the ship down there. It's absolutely truly amazing. And then this is the other side, which to me blows the other side away. Just check that out. Little fishing boat there in the harbour. Probably catching his dinner. Let me get the side on so we don't get no glare on the glass. The sun hitting the uh, the water. And look at the lack of ripples or the lack of, lack of surf as we sail past. This is probably the calmest sea that we've seen. And then look at the mist in front of those mountains on the lake there. And then the other side of the boat from this side. So while I was out there, this lot turned up. Is that the dirty rice? That's the dirty rice. It's got liver, Ooh, onions, liver. And rice. Oh, I'm yes, not having that then. Well. I'm not having liver. No, the I am not having. Knife, for I'm not having liver. And we've got mac and cheese. Lobster mac and cheese. Oh, is it lobster mac and cheese? Bacon well. and beans, and then creamed corn. Wow. And now I've got this lovely grilled, marinated Cajun and lemon salmon steak. And oh my God, that looks pink. It's tandoori chicken. <laughs> Thoughts on the um, Lawn Club Grill so far? Telling you everything you need to know. It's been beautiful, hasn't it? The pizza was the nicest pizza I have ever had. My ever. my favourite bit was the corn. What's it called? Creamy cream corn. corn yeah. Beautiful. We've had cream corn before in America, but that was less cream but more bacon, which was very, delicious. Very nice. I wasn't so keen on the beans and bacon because it had like a barbecue sauce. The, the, most yeah, the dirty rice the was very nice. And the mac and cheese, uh, the lobster mac and cheese. Oh, just needed a lot more cheese on it. I like this place. I like this place. I'm actually sick of eating food now. <laughs> I'm sick of it now. And Lee just said, we've ordered this for the vlog. Well, I hope you appreciate this, guys. I really do. Apple crumble, American apple crumble. Carrot cake. The most delicious apple crumble ever with ice cream. Lee's got carrot cake with ice cream. It is very nice. And um, that fruit. A little yeah. bit of fruit. Oh, right, let's get it stuffed. What, we, what have you just said? When it's stuffy now, I feel disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of food myself. Uh, no, what was that? Carrot, Carrot cake. cake. Beautiful. My apple crumble was amazing. Like <laughs> the most amazing dessert I'm ever. And I'm so stuffed. I'm I'm right. It's Friday. I'm Friday so fast. stuffed <laughs> that I don't know actually how I managed to put it in my mouth, but it was just so nice to say no. It's on the house now, I just want to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was the most amazing meal that we've had so far. So we're on the lawn, we're in, the, in front of the lawn grill. These weird looking cushions that have got kind of like semi backs on them. Right in front of the TV screen. Blue sky, sun over there. We're just gonna have five minutes. What, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, oh. oh stop it. You explain. Four hours since our meal was booked. We've been late here. <laughs> Ever since we had that food. We came back to the um, we had Bella's room. Like walks. We came back to the room 
just for a five minute chill. Oh, I don't remember. And um, four hours later, we're still oh, in the room. I've got a what belly. We ate a little too much and it wiped us out. The food was beautiful, but if you go to that lawn grill, we just like be warned. Eight courses. <laughs> the first course is the flatbread, but it actually comes as a humongous pizza, so that just wipes us out for stars. Um, oh, the blown the horn. Um, the blown the horn quite a few times in the last hour. I don't know why. Because it's busy traffic. Busy traffic. Um, we're going past like Ireland and Banger and things like that. I've been watching it on the on the TV. You get that in in the room. Mm. So it shows you the front of the ship, and then it shows you where we are, and that's where we are right now. Ireland and um, the UK. So we're going all the way. Oh, yeah, all the way down there. Sea day tomorrow, all the way back down to Southampton, somewhere down here, where we get off and we go home. <laughs> you won't be saying that in morning when it's breakfast time. Did you see that celloist tonight? Well, you shouldn't have come back to the room. I had no choice, I couldn't breathe. So we needed to number two just in time. Oh, for goodness sakes. We'll see you tomorrow, guys, for a new vlog. Vlog. A vlog. <laughs> Thanks for watching I'm today. Vlogging. Hit the subscribe button, drop us a comment below. If you want to know anything about this cruise, Dr. Clarkson, please. For freak's sakes. <laughs> oh my god. See you on the next vlog. Bye.